Hi, it's Mika Fest and Weight Loss, and today is day 333 of my fasting weight loss journey to lose 90 to 100 pounds on YouTube. This is my Snake Diet OMAD 500 calories final results. I did a challenge for nine days. Um, Snake Diet Cole Robinson said this is the fastest way to lose fat, which is fasting dry fasting and then doing snake cardio that's what he calls it um so that's what i attempted i started this nine day challenge with the goal of doing a five cal 500 calorie omad meal that's one meal for the day 500 calories um i started with doing a 16 hour dry fast which is no food or water and i'm supposed to do the cardio during the at the end of the dry fast. And really, he didn't say 16 hours. He said dry fast as long as possible. I tweaked it to my own way. So I started at 227.8 pounds. I'm gonna give you the results. Um, I didn't do it the exact way he said. And as the days went on, I kept tweaking and tweaking. I, I successfully did 500 calories every day, except for one, which I went up maybe the 700 to 750 calories, which is still okay. Um, most days I did two hours of cardio unless I didn't eat at all. Um, and I didn't eat at all because I just wasn't feeling hungry or I was too busy. Um, not too busy to eat with fast food, but too busy to um, prepare food at home. So I just didn't eat. Okay. And I didn't eat yesterday either. And I'm going to talk about that. First, a quote. The ladder of success is never crowded at the top. Napoleon Hill. The ladder we could all climb on. We could all take steps daily towards um, success at the top. But very few of us are willing to take the steps and keep climbing all the way to the top. Most of us climb the steps, fall back down, climb the steps, fall back down, never even get to the top of success, but we all are capable of it, okay? I want you to think about reaching the top once and for all because there's not a lot of people willing to do that. The ladder of success is never crowded at the top. Napoleon Hill, love that. Okay, so also let me just go to it. I measured my belly rolls. I have three belly rolls. That's the upper um, at the belly button and the lower. And I started this nine day snake diet OMAD challenge. Um, the upper was 43 and a half. It went to 41 and a half. So that's two inches at the belly button was 43 and it went to 41 and a half. That's one and a half inch. And the lower was 47 and then it went to 45 and a half. Which tells me I'm going to have to lose more than um, 40 more pounds. It's going to have to be 100 pounds because there's no way I want to waste so humongous. Um, I think a healthy range of a, of a waist is like 32, 34 max. So, man, I don't know. I might have to get real skinny. Um, let me see. Okay, what did I eat yesterday? Nothing. So the last time I ate was Friday. Today's Monday. I don't know. I was not feeling hungry. I did feel weak, um, but I was doing hair all day. Not cool. That is not what I want to do. Okay. You guys know what I want to do. I won't keep talking about Yes, I will keep talking about it. Okay, but not today. Let's see. Okay, what exercise did I do? The only exercise I did was while my client was under the dryer, it's in the live stream. I know I look silly. I don't really care that much. Um, but I did wall push-ups. I just did some sitting down, up and down on the bench. I did a lot of walking in place. I did some walking around my place of business where I work. And that's it. I believe it was about 40 minutes. Um, it might have been 45 minutes. So that was yesterday. Um, oh, what I learned, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you my weight. Then I'm going to say what I learned doing the snake diet, OMAD 500 calorie dry fasting <laughs> challenge. Because some people don't want to hear all this. Um, that's fine. I am 
Um, that's minus, man, I hate doing this math. That's minus 2.2 .2 pounds. Total for the um, nine day snake diet OMAD challenge is minus 13.2. That's good, I guess. Um, that's over a pound a day. Okay, what did I learn? One, I learned so much about calorie counting. There's so many things that have um, nutrition and low calorie. Green vegetables, cucumbers, all the green vegetables. Um, that's it. That's basically what I learned. <laughs> um, and I fell in love with those um, smart noodles, which is 40 calories for the pack. I really like them for 40 calories. I'm going to incorporate that more in my diet. And I already like salad, but I'm going to cook spinach. Three cups of spinach is like 10 calories, you guys. Come on. You could fill a whole plate up. Okay. Um, let me see. What else did I learn? I learned if you set um, a strict routine and you take out and you tweak some stuff, you're still going to have amazing results. So that day I said I cheated because I had an extra 200 calories. That was not a cheat because I was probably um, half of the calories I should really have for the day. Um, another thing I learned from that cheat day is I still lost weight. So you need to play around with stuff. Like don't just listen to people saying have 1200 calories or 1500 calories or this and that, or this amount of exercise. You have to play around with your own body and your own, um, schedule. It's unique to you. There's not one fix. Okay. So today I'm having a day off. You will not hear what I ate. Um, I will be having sugar. Um, I'm not hungry right now though. Um, let me see. And I will be immediately starting my new plan tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be five days, seven days, or nine days. It starts tomorrow. I hope you join me. I plan, I am climbing that ladder of success and I would like everyone to climb with me. Um, have a great day. Please subscribe, like, and please, please comment. Even a thumbs up in the comment is so helpful. Bye.